Well, hey everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel. What you're looking at is a bunch of cubby holes that I've kind of been working on off and on since, I guess, August. It's not gotten really far. It's been a little bit more tedious than I thought it would be. These places that you see right there were numbers, little tag numbers, and they were so fragile. So I'm down to, I guess, about halfway getting them done. But once I get it done, I've got to sand it, and I've been told that it probably has lead paint on it. So that means respirator and all that. But I'm going to paint it all black, and I did take the back of it off, and I need to put a new back. And then I don't know what it's sitting on, some kind of plasticky thing. So I'm going to try to put like some industrial wheels on it. I'm showing you this because it's one of the things that I want to put in my art studio, but I don't know if I'm going to get it done when the studio gets finished. I also am outside with you because I wanted to show you the piles of things that I have that I have been given at work and that are the majority samples, just all kinds of stuff. And for instance, one bin is right here. Okay, now I hope I'm not going to make you seasick, but this bin, it just has all kinds of stuff in it, wooden and metal pieces, and let's see what is in this box. This is some glass tile, um, and then I have another one, excuse me, backing up over here. Now I do already have my carpet squares purchased. I've been trying to buy things along the way so it doesn't break the bank all at once. And then I just have some miscellaneous stuff over here. But yep, I have piles. So let's come on out here. And as you can see, um, that's carpet samples. Those samples right there are really nice and fluffy. So I'm hoping some kind of way I can piece them together and make some kind of um, rug. Now down here, I have just plastic bins, and again, it's I think the one on the bottom is metal. The one in the middle is kind of vinyl stuff. That's fabric, and I believe everything over there is fabric. And then tucked in the corner are some items that I've had for a little while, as far as fabric samples are concerned. The bottom one is a toaster oven for when I bake clay. So... Let's come back around, and right there is where my studio is going to be from my back deck. So as you can see, it's pretty close, and excuse the sniffles. It's a little bit cool and dreary today in Georgia. Um, here are a table, or here is a table full of stuff. And also um, another tub. This is a box of wooden things, and... Again, some carpet samples that I usually take the handles off of. Let's go around this way. Now, do you understand why I need a separate place? Let's see if I can open up this box. This box is nothing but leather samples. Get the angle right. Nothing but leather samples. So, I think that was a great give. And I'm trying to dis determine my path here. My husband had the ladder out to tend to something outside and kind of put it there. Um, and then I have some, I, I get drink flats, Gatorade or Coke or whatever. It makes things easy to carry for me, especially when they're so heavy. So these flats of tiles, I have someone that is interested them, interested in them at the retreat that I'm going to. So that's why I have them loaded up and ready to go. And I guess that's pretty much everything. But as you can see, it is a lot. And um, I do have a plan for the fabric and all. I just have to get the, the piece of furniture that I have in mind. So I just wanted to stop in again and let you know that um, I'm chugging along. We did get the wall off of the closet wall inside that has the panel box. 
So we got that removed this weekend. Now we get to have the electrician come and see what he needs for wiring. So I am a little bit closer. And um, I guess I will holler at y'all down the road. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and watch what I'm up to as I do my best to fill up that baby. Ha ha ha. I don't think it's going to be a struggle. Anyway, catch you next time. I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, my friends. Bye.